Hey guys, welcome to Hey Grill Hey. I'm Susie Bullock and today we are back with another awesome recipe. I'm teaching you my absolute favorite marinade for grilled flank steak. Let's get started. The key to a good marinade is kind of operating off of this simple framework. It's a blueprint really, and then you can kind of add in your own flavors and spices to work within the framework. But the general blueprint goes like this. You need salt, you need sugar, you need acid, you need fat, and then you need additional flavor. So that's exactly what we've done for this grilled flank steak marinade. We start out using a nice big gallon bag that can hold all of your marinade in addition to your meat. For our fat, we're starting with about a half a cup of olive oil. I love using olive oil in marinades because it adds flavor as well as the fat that you need to really carry those spices into the middle of the meat. Kosher salt, about a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt, a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. That's part of our flavor, our seasonings. And then of course you need sugar. I've got about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, which acts as both flavor and acid, and then a majority of our acid is coming from balsamic vinegar. I've got five cloves of garlic, just roughly minced, which is another element of flavor, about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, because I like the heat, and then two to three sprigs of fresh rosemary, the trick with the rosemary is to rub it really good between your fingers. It starts to release a lot of the oils in the leaves itself, and you can just smell it. It adds a lot of flavor to the marinade. So pop it all in the bag, zip it closed. This is awesome because you don't really have to dirty any dishes. Massage it really well to combine. Our marinade's all combined and smelling. It smells absolutely amazing. And we're going to put in our flank steak Flank steaks are perfect for marinades because they're not very thick, um, but they can be a pretty tough cut of meat. All of the muscle runs in the exact same direction. So this will go in the marinade and sit in there for at least two hours. If you've got time, 24 hours is the way to go. Our flank steak has been marinating for several hours. It's taken on some great color from the marinade. We're ready to head outside and grill. We're doing this on charcoal today, direct heat because it's such a thin cut of meat, as high temperature as you can get your coals to go. They're preheating now. We're ready to head outside and grill. Our grilled and marinated flank steak is off the grill, ready to slice and serve. This would be delicious with some grilled asparagus, maybe some cast iron skillet garlic potatoes. The most important thing is to let the steak rest for about 10 minutes after you take it off the grill and then slice against the grain. Because flank steak has those long muscle strands, we've got to shorten them with the way that we cut the meat. This is perfectly cooked and I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm not going to wait to dive in. I hope you guys have a steak day. It was a food pun. <laughs> oh, it's so flavorful. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, like, share this with your friends because we are bringing out new grilling and barbecue recipes every single week and we would love to have you back here. Oh, 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 oh.